pass by Delonte to the big fella, and he throws the hammer down. 11-5 is that Cavalier getaway as we're almost five minutes in. Great activity level by the wine and golders right now. Miles looking for a cutter. Settled for Brewer in the corner. Five to shoot. Price. Gave it up. Cooper's jumps. Missed it. Ben was shoved in the back. It's going to be a foul on Carlos Boozer. They'll love it here. <laughs> Boozer has a tough time and he comes in town. Always will. Nice move by Mo. He, he kept his eyes up, kept his head up. So as he's slipping behind Kufus and he lays it in and throws the hammer down. Here comes he in the block against Kufus. The up fake through the contact from the former Buckeye. Well, he's a rookie. He does not understand it. Z's moves. That's one of Z's patented moves when he gets the when he turns away from the basket. The rookie fell for it. He got him a bird. Goes to the line. Two shots. So Costa heads the bench. Picks up his second foul very quickly. He's got a bunch of friends and family here tonight, as you might suspect. As Z toes the line for two. And I would imagine he has quite a few tickets he had to purchase. I heard uh, over 30. Hey, this week on Aaron's Cavaliers in the paint, if you think Booby is a tough competitor on the court, wait till you see he and Jawad Williams at the bowling alley. And we'll flash back to Danny Ferry's days on the court here in Cleveland. All that and more on Aaron's Cavaliers in the paint, Tuesday at 6 on Fox Sports Ohio. So as he makes it 13-5. Watch us. Give it up to Boozer. Ben crowding him. Brewer in some trouble. Miles has to jump. It was contested. Missed a three badly. Rebound in heavy traffic and a travel on John Collins, who had checked in for Kufus. Cavaliers are contesting shots a lot different than they were last season. They don't let you have open shots, and it's a good idea that once they continue to do that, they will be a lot. Their defense is going to be stifling as we get through this season as they continue with this effort. Here comes Adrenas on the block again against Collins. And a hole in the post. On Collins. Time out on the floor. Utah scored the first three, but then the Cavaliers started to get it going as Big Ben said no. Get that stuff out of here, young man. The Cavaliers off to a good start at the cube. A great start for the Cavaliers. They have an eight-point lead on the Utah Jazz, 13-5 to during the first quarter at Quicken Loans Arena. Hi, everybody. I'm Jeff Phelps. Our first Merit Bank reality check involves a couple of local players who have made good. Two years ago, Costa Kufus, now starting center for the Utah Jazz, was the starting center for his AAU team, the King James Shooting Stars. And, yes, the sponsor of that team, LeBron James. I asked LeBron before the game, have you ever gone up against a guy who played on one of your AAU teams in the NBA? And he said, you know, I've never thought about it, but no. He said Kufus reminds him of Zadrunas Agaskas a little bit. He said he's very agile for his size. He has a great shot, and he can really spread the floor. Kufus absolutely thrilled to be here. He said that from time to time, LeBron would stop by and help out with the AAU team. Just talk to the guys and, and work with them a little bit, guys. So a big thrill for Costa tonight and an interesting situation for LeBron. Kufus still only 19 years of age, playing at the highest level. Here comes Brewer. Big block by LeBron. And really, Jerry Sloan gives him a lot of credit. And he, Jerry Sloan does not talk about rookies a lot, but he gives uh, Kufus uh, his, his due, and that means he's, he thinks he's got a chance to be a good player. Look at all of Ben Wallace, picked up by Jaron Collins. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Low zip that pass, Delonte. Missed a three ball. Back comes Utah. Jazz has missed on 10 of the last 12 trips down the floor. Getting nothing Good right defense, now. Ben. On the knockaway. Foot race. Mo Williams to Delonte West. Fights up, but he was fine. 
That was selfish play by Mo there. You're right, because Mo really had the shot. He could have made the layup easy, but uh, he decided to get try to get Delonte into the scoring column and get him started emotionally. Ben Wallace with great defense on Boozer coming underneath to steal the pass, and then Mo Williams takes off to the to the races, and Delonte nice up and under takes the bump. He goes to the line, two shots.